Hello everyone and welcome back to Grim Fandango, this time for part 5. And if you can believe it, this is Rubicava. Uh, it's changed a bit in the year that we've stayed here, but things are actually looking up. We may have been waiting for a long time, but, you know, we started by mopping the place, and now we're running the place. And there's a whole host of new characters to meet, and loads of puzzles and items to get and stuff like that. It's quite a complex area, if memory serves. Uh, and I think what we need to probably do to start with is go downstairs and meet with this person that has just shown up. Hopefully it's Meche. Uh, honestly can't remember if it is, though. Might be. Let's see. Um... Okay, three ways to go. I guess that would take us back out to the great view. Uh, let's go, let's go left. Right, into our office. Okay, and yeah, let's start off with this. Ah, to sleep. Perchance to have nightmares about spiders and beavers. Ah, yes, my time in the petrified forest I just cannot forget. Can we go to sleep? Can't. What if Mecha makes her big arrival and I sleep through it? Yeah. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Okay, um... Something on the desk over here, it looks like. What is it? My wartime communications from Salvador. He's All right. been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, mm -hmm. are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Right, okay. But that, that was the last one we got. That's not a good sign, actually. <laughs> um, he said he's not done reading it yet, but no. Nah, I, I, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going with it, so... Okay, let's have a look. We have our scythe, of course. Um, is that it? Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. I guess it was a success then, and that was the message, so, um... That's it. We just kept the scythe. I guess we didn't want to ruin our suit or anything with all the other items and keep them for years on end. Uh, okay. Let's see. So we've got our proper office desk here. Now there's something funky with this, right? I want to say it's not exactly what it seems. Ah, yeah. Ah, Lady Luck. <laughs> lady not so lucky. Or Lady... Lady Rig, definitely. Le numéro gagnant. Le 12. Rouge. Perremanque. 12. Red. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. No more bets, please. All right, what's it gonna be? I'm gonna press you. <laughs> Look up below. Le numéro gagnant. Le neuf. Rouge. Empire Monk. Nine. Red. This is an outrage. <laughs> I bet on number two. Why didn't it come up number two? Ah, oh, monsieur, je suis vraiment désolé. I do not pick the winners. These things are all controlled by the man upstairs. Well, <laughs> Literally. please tell the man upstairs that Police Chief Bogan was very upset when he left. And when he returns later this evening, he would prefer to have better luck. Oui, monsieur. Bonsoir. I will definitely tell him. No need, no need. I think I've got the message. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Either he needs to get really bad luck or really good luck. So, um... Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to it later. Uh, so we can't open the drawers or anything, can't mess with the lights. Are we done here? Looks like we might be done here. Let's uh, let's go through here and see if we can head down. Yeah, this way. Right, okay. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> uh, yeah, Glottis is still with me, and um, he's also wearing a rather nice suit. Extra large. Hello, Manny. Hola. I guess we should say hi. It's been a while. Manny, the police chief walked through and I tried playing a song for him and he yelled at me. Oh, don't sweat it, Mano. He's just mad because he lost at the tables. Isn't he always supposed to win so he keeps liking us and never raids us? He wouldn't raid us. It's a holiday. Hmm. Yeah, quiet night. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, chief. But last night... Remember last night, Manny? Oh, wee! <laughs> yeah. What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
I might regret asking this. Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> bone wagon. <laughs> I like it. Special lady, right? The bone wagon. That's the car, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You think she'll come in tonight? Who? My special lady? No. Menchie. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. Okay. You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty tack once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Plus, <laughs> I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, She'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. <laughs> he has very sort of dexterous fingers, I suppose, despite him being so large. Um, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything on the tables, but I notice I can go back towards the bar. Uh, right, let's see. Do, hang on. Ah. Yeah, that is sticking out like a sore thumb, actually. What is that? I suppose I might want to pick that up. Ah, Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, um, we might be meeting with a rich customer or something, so it might be worth taking yes, it with I'd us. Yes, I'd better take this with me. Hmm. For safekeeping. Safekeeping, absolutely. Uh, that's all we can do here, it looks like. Let's keep going and uh, go through the store. Right, the roulette tables. So uh, yeah, we did see a little diagram in the bottom left of the uh, of the mat of which roulette table I think was selected, and I guess the police chief was on one of them before I upset him a little bit. Hi. Not while they're losing. Hmm. Right. Who's this guy? Everything okay down here? What happened to Monsieur Bogan's lucky streak? It ran out. What? So did he. Mm, shit. I don't know. Maybe that was actually good that he ran out of here. Right, I can speak to him, and I want to speak with him. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? It is now. Okay, uh, yeah. Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stuffs. Ah. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. I'm sure. Okay, that's a nice little tidbit of information, though. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. <laughs> hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. <laughs> oh, fair's fair, I suppose. What else can you counterfeit? Just in case. Nothing. Anything. Hmm. Okay, what about passports? So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? <laughs> I bet it is, actually, yeah. Um, what about driver's licenses? How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture. Fifty bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. Hmm. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Well, I don't know, you might have what I'm after at some point, but I definitely need it nearer than two weeks. Why aren't you over at the roulette tables? The roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. Or well, maybe that's why I don't have the slot machines. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, tell me your system. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets. Uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it want to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, go on then. I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Like you. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. <laughs> All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. If you say so. That's a nice suit. Where'd you steal it? Manny, if you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. Well, I've got a club to run, so... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your... Glamorous life. I will. I certainly will. Right, we'll be seeing him again later at some point. Um, I like the mural back here, that's very cool. So that's all we can do. I guess I can mess with the roulette tables again. I don't know if I need to though at the moment. Um, yep, that's as far as we can go. I think it's time for us to leave, so we need to go back upstairs, I suppose. <laughs> Just playing for absolutely no one, but he seems to enjoy himself. Uh, right, yeah, there is someone down there. It's the person who uh, alerted me at the end of the last video, wasn't it? Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Do you? Uh, uh yeah. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to say... Yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night that you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't right. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's That's my more like fault it. she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Hmm. All oh, right, yes, Bogan. Bogan looked mad when he left? Yeah, what happened? Hey, we all run out of luck eventually. Careful, Manny, or you're gonna get us shut down. Hmm. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, You've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. <laughs> There's something about her voice. It's very familiar to me, but I can't place it. I, I swear I've heard her in something else there. Maybe a cartoon. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Well, I think you want to tell me about it. Okay. Tell me all the details about your new code check system. Yeah! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is, I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... <laughs> Drifting off a little bit. Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Oh. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I guess we should probably say this. Please, tell me all about your new Kochek system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. <laughs> okay, and that's that's that, at least for the time being. So, um, yeah, we don't want to go. We don't want to go back upstairs. We do want to leave, though. And there you go, the Calavera Cafe. <laughs> and look what I've done with the cactus as well. Put my name on it. That's nice. Okay, um, yeah, down here. Presumably the stairs are still here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! <laughs> Ah, 
Domino and Meche, I think. Yeah, we're not on the best of terms. This going to be an annual thing with you, Manny. <laughs> Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out. I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. Yeah, well, I might need it looking at the rust bucket behind me. That is, yeah, the SS... I think that's the SS Limbo. Um, I think we are going to need to go on board. Let's speak with this guy. Yeah. All right. So I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. Yeah, so? I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. <laughs> hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. Huh. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. His own tools? Hmm, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew is on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. That one guy? Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges is a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. Okay. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! Restaurant management. Yeah, <laughs> kind it's of. similar to what you're doing now, <laughs> except the fish is fresher on the limbo. Yeah. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glottis is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. It's a tough union, boy, and I don't mess with them. And I think that's the reason we need to speak with that Chow Chilla Charlie guy. It's the card, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, what kind of tools does Glottis need? What kind of tools does Glottis need? Authentic CB equipment only. Hmm. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Very good. Very good. Huh. Yeah, what do you think Naranja is? What do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. Okay, I think we need to find his home. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walk-in beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a Lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a Maritime Union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. Brilliant. I better go finish packing. I. you do that, son. We've got a lot of stuff to do, and I don't know if we need to focus on the tools, the cars, there's loads more people we need to meet as well. There's a lot more going on in Rubicava than actually meets the eye. Um, let's have a look at our vessel to be, I suppose. The SS Limbo needs a little TLC. A little bit. And this is the way on. It's locked. I uh, know, I locked it. <laughs> oh, that'll be why. I don't suppose we can leap over it's anything. It's locked. I uh, know, I locked it. No. <laughs> that would be too easy. Look at them. Oh, we can. Are we can we? Yeah, we can actually look at the moon with a nice little face on it. 
It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that, that night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight and the reef where her body was, was strewn. Okay. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Apart from when I last played the game, probably. Uh, okay. Is that different? That is actually different. Can we have a look at that? He's got a bit of an issue, right? Maybe we can solve that as well. Not a bad little ship in a bottle you got going there. Yeah, well, there's that Rubicava craft fair next week, you know, so... Hmm. Well, if we do everything right, I think I'm gonna miss it. Can we do anything with it? Pick it up, maybe? Hey, let me see that. Don't bring it over your head if you reach for it again. Okay, alright. You just keep doing what you're doing. That'll keep you occupied, I suppose. Right, so this is kind of the end of the pier, the end of the dock. We can't go any further either way, but we can go to the left here. Uh, right, okay, so a bit of a crossroads. Which way do I want to go? Um, I honestly don't know. This way? Let's just go south, southeast. Uh, okay. Let's see then. Right, there's a door over there. And over there, apparently. Um, let's start with this one, though, I suppose. Let's rush over to it, though. Uh, go around. Have a look. There you go. This gate Ooh. only leads up to the Lombarda dock, and the Lombarda's gone. Oh, I've I got see. the lumps to prove it. Right, so there's no use in, in using that, it seems. Okay, um, can we open these doors? Looks like we can. Whoop! <laughs> no? And I can't even use the doors, actually. Again, maybe this is just a case of the arrow, you know, shouldn't be here. A little bit like, um, sort of knowing there's something underground when I shouldn't know there's something underground. Yeah, I guess we're going in there at some point, just not yet. We can go over to the right, but there's a there's a lever or something over here, and without even knowing what it does, let's just pull it. We probably got to, right? Oh, I see, it creates a... Oh, I don't know, a little bridge over to somewhere? Okay, um... Let's go down this way to begin with, I guess. Oh, Christ. Oh, massive, massive blimp, yeah. Rubicava, man. It's actually quite big. Calavera Cafe, as nice as it is, is actually just a small part of it. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. Mm. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? I think we'll be going up there at some point. Uh, but not quite yet. Looks like right now what we need to do is just maybe go down here. Alrighty. Lighthouse over there. Oh, a lighthouse. Okay. I vaguely remember that. Down here? Hmm, okay. We go down. Oh, that's a hatch, is it? I see. Right, well, uh, I don't really know where we're going or what we're doing here, but let's go in. Alright. Is this... Hey. Looks like it hurts. What's your name? I think... Hang on. Looks like it hurts. Is that it? Do I have to speak with you or something? Hola, Toro. Como estas? <sighs> Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. It is him. It's, it's Naranya. Okay, brilliant. Now, um... We need to do something to him? Uh... Right, the bottle? Something to do with the bottle. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but it don't. I kill the pain, turn off my drill, stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, silver boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, a few more things to have a look at. There's a couple of books over here, it looks like. These are binders of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice. And a third one just says Anchormania. Anchormania, I like it. Is that a phone? Oh, that reminds me. I forgot about my date with Inez. Oh, yeah? Can we use it? Hello, operator? <laughs> yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... <laughs> I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing the boat leave was just a, a really good excuse, I guess. Uh, okay. Um, it is definitely something to do with the bottle. I don't know if... We've got the right item or anything. We've got the message. we got that bottle. I don't think I swap it round. Do I? 
We've got that. That's that's not for here. That's for the uh, that's for making the card. I'm pretty sure. Let's try it. I don't know. Can we swap this over or use it? Pour it in, maybe. There's stronger stuff than that in there already. Yeah, that's not going to be the one. Okay. Do I take his weight? Yeah, maybe just a sip. Oh, okay. It is the time for drinking, apparently, so yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll save the rest for later, maybe? I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, hang on, really? Oh, we can go to the left! Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, do we need to turn the machine off? We obviously need to disrupt this in some way. Um, something in the fridge, maybe? Can we open it up? Uh, you're kind of in the way there, Manny. Oh, hang on, nope. There is something down here. What is it? Looks like a lettuce crisper. Smells more like a fungus crisper to me. Yeah, just look at the inside of that door. It's horrible. Ah! Oh, it's empty. Okay. Hey, shut door. You slow down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was kind of strange. Anything on the shelves down here? And what looks to be a very, uh, very worn, soggy-looking bed, actually. A lot of stains for a guy with no bodily fluids. <laughs> yeah, how the hell do you manage that? Maybe he just uh, he spills a lot of drink and stuff. But how do they drink their skeletons? I d <laughs> Enough questions. Uh, okay, that seems to be the end of that. I think we'll be coming back later. I think there's something I need to put in the drink. Um, yeah. But there you go, I know where the, uh, the guy is. So, let's go back up and let's choose another direction, I suppose. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's go left. Oh, right. <laughs> These are uh, the sea bees, I take it. <laughs> oh, I think I could go to the right as well. Uh, yes, they're actually quite literally sea bees. Let's have a look. Terry. Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what <laughs> I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers. All laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. He's not wrong. Yeah. He seems to be hard at work doing something. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Right. <laughs> barrel duty, I like it. Hmm. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem. We're, uh... Uh, the solution it makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. <laughs> if the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. <laughs> yeah, okay. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Well, actually, I'm hoping you know about tools because uh, I'm going to ask you about that in a moment. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you got to be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Yes, okay. Um, yeah. It's a good excuse, isn't it? Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Hmm. If the cops own the union, 
and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. I think I do, wink wink, nudge nudge. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? No, I dread to think, actually. You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Ah! Forget it. <laughs> I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Yeah, and that is a problem I think I'm probably going to have to fix in my very short stay in Rupakava. Right, we can actually keep going right, it seems. Uh, I suppose I do want to do that. The lighthouse. Okay, yeah. Anything on the way? Doesn't really look like it. What a strange world the land of the dead is. Yeah, okay. What's that? It's locked. Oh, that's the door, is it? Okay. It's locked. And we can't look at it or like try and pick it up or anything. It's just try and use it. Can we go around? Uh, no, I'm kind of fighting with the, the system, it seems, so no, I don't think so. I think it's probably just that one door. And currently it's locked, so I guess we need to find a key or break in somehow. Uh, I have a feeling the tools might be in the lighthouse or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, the CBs weren't actually too much help. We need to fix their problem. Hmm, okay, well, yeah, let's, let's head back. And I think there was another way to go to the right. Yeah, there, there is. Oh, okay. The blue casket, okay. Let's see. Uh, two ways to go. I guess let's take this entrance. Oh. Oh. It was an elevator. Oh, it <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we'll be going back to the blue casket later on. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. Um, okay, so we can go up the stairs. And head... Oh, head down the steps. Oh, man. Oh, Christ. Okay. Right. Yeah, this is a this is a big old area. All right. So we can go through there. And in there as well, apparently. I guess let's just go from door to door and just see what's going on in each place. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? The morgue. <laughs> the morgue for the already dead. You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. <laughs> yeah, that's just a problem when everyone's getting sprouted, I suppose. Right. Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. Yeah, and they screwed me over too. Um... We might need to get our hands dirty? Digging through flower beds is Membrio's job, not mine. Okay. I'd hate to end up like this. Then take my advice. Buy an ID bracelet and wear it always. Wouldn't match my cufflinks. <laughs> nah, probably not. Um, can we just speak with you directly? Or maybe we need to have what a look at the other one. What a sad story. These stew sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Hmm. Certainly seems to be the way. Death makes sad stories of us all. Yeah. Silly question, really, considering what I'm looking at. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubakava. Hmm. Yeah, well, we saw the meeting uh, a year ago, I suppose. And now Domino's in the area. Although he's just left, yeah. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure 
that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. I think he has actually just using a, a gardening fork. Uh, can I help? I assume so. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. Hmm. Now, how do you do it? How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? Very good. No. Very, very good. Sorry. Old coroner joke. Hey, the old ones are the good ones. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist? In life, they became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a weird dichotomy, isn't it? And Brio, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. Hmm. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubakava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Yes. Does anyone else think he sounds a little bit like, um, Peter O'Toole? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, well, I could barely take my eyes off of this sprouted corpse over here, even while I was talking to him, so I think there's something up with this one, maybe. Maybe not that one. I'd hate to end up like this. Then take my advice. Oh, I see, I see. Wouldn't match my cufflinks. Skip through that again. I guess we're not I don't diving think in. picking flowers is really appropriate right now. No. No, I think what we need to do with this guy is, is just get him a new tool. Upgrade his gardening... Uh, no, we don't upgrade his gardening fork. We get, we get him something else. We get him something else. What is that something else? Shit, again, it's like it's on the tip of my tongue, essentially. Uh, okay. Is that it? We can't go to the left or right. It seems. Hang on. There's something over... Hang on, there's something over here. What is this? What are all these, anyway? It's empty. Only until I finish up here. Oh. Is that where the bodies are stored after you've, uh... De sprouted them or something? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. I guess I'll be back later. And uh, I know I've said that quite a lot, but I don't think we can really do too much at the moment. Uh, I suppose let's go up the stairs and let's head in here. Looks like the door's actually open. Where is this? Uh, okay. What a horrible jail cell. Then again, he sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, I, I guess I don't want to break in, do Only I? Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Right, yeah. Maybe I should have kept myself in his good books. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. HL, eh? Uh, can we take one of these? I think I can remember that. Okay. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> no, I, I remember that. Reward offered for cargo same stolen thing. from shipyard receiving area. I think so, yeah. They're all the same. Um, okay, and that's the extent of that. No one in the jail cell. At least, not yet. That might be changing. Okay, so that was short and sweet. I like the, uh, the boat theme they've got here. And we're gonna go straight through the hull. And I think cross the bridge now. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so there is, uh, there's one rather large place that we haven't had a look at yet. And it's actually not the blimp that I was talking about, but yeah, there's another one. No, it's, it's the cat track over here. But let's have a look at this blimp. 
I can't remember if we go on it or not. <laughs> it's going to be a slow, slow walk. Let's go a little bit closer. Hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. Hmm. Right. Um, yep, keep going down the bridge. Continue over to the right. You can only just see the top of one of the towers here. It is a very, very big place. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. A little bit further? A little bit further. Um, up or down? I guess let's start from the top and work down. Oh, lol. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, vaguely wow, remember you. Manny Calavera. You never come up here. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Um, well, there's something down here that I should probably have a look at, but first, let's, uh... I can't speak with you? It's a metal detector. Oh, that oh, explains that. why oh. it never gets my hair dry. <laughs> I'm gonna want that. I don't suppose I can just pick it up. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? Um, let's see. <laughs> I needed to find coins in my couch. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? Hmm. When's your break? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. That's well, not just the line this time. Uh... I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. <laughs> well, um, what's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. I see. Okay. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. No? Why not? Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Ah, I see. Hey, it's worth a try. What? Oh! <laughs> Ooh, I love this part! <laughs> Metal detector in hand. Maybe this is my chance to get it. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Okay. Well, that's quite nice. Oh, you're clean. Hmm. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. I think you need to get strip searched, actually. Uh, let's continue talking. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy, I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't <laughs> stop her. So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till uh. dawn. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Yeah, if you say so. You can see where its heart truly lies, and it's right there. <laughs> um, okay, so what have we got here? A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home, but you and me. Hmm. Do I need to pick some of it up, distract you or something? Hey, hey, nah. official documents. Don't touch. It's worth a try. Okay. Well, I suppose we can go upstairs, can we? Um, can we just go around the back? <laughs> Yeah? That's okay. Yep, she doesn't seem to be bothered at all. I don't know if that's actually meant to happen, but yeah, okay. These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please, stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. <laughs> a contained detonation chamber. Okay, well, uh, thankfully I haven't walked into that one yet. They're locked. They're lockers! Makes sense, I suppose. Ah, uh, right. Is that it? That's kind of it, to be honest. Um. I haven't quite figured this out yet. I guess I'll need to come back with something else. 
Uh, yeah. Alright, well, let's, um... No, wait! No! Uh... Let's go, let's go back up. Maybe I've got it, mate. All the way. Uh, again, I'm having trouble finishing sentences. Okay, let me just take you through my process. Uh, we have a bottle, and it's filled with... Uh, ah, Marie gold flakes, Oro. right? A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Precisely, okay. So, take it. Take a sip. I know yeah, we did this before. Just a sip. I know we did this before, but maybe it went through our system or something. But I think ah. the gold is actually the thing... That um that gets us to get strip searched. <laughs> and that was pretty blatant. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Yes, it beeps. You sure you're not packing anything else? I guess you'll have to find out. Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. No. Oh. Rules are rules. <laughs> and of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm hmm I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I was <laughs> Actually, like figs were oh. a personal favorite. <laughs> what, did it just change? Don't you just love prunes? They have such yeah. a great <laughs> texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Never a big fan of prunes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. I think I just have oh, to endure this. Seven. No, 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 no. I had Probably to be sick because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Mr. Rufus? Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. Huh? What's that? <laughs> and it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had such long hair. I don't really <laughs> like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? Ooh, ick. They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. Hard People think I'm stuck grill. up sometimes, believe it or not. No, what? no, no, they really do. I don't know No, why. I just can't believe that. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. <laughs> I love Can these you options. believe it? No. <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom Mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I Running just away. smile once That in a while. sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> she always I think said I have to ignore the bottom one though. A smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, moms are always right. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Oh, Was Jesus. I supposed to smile uh. when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, daddy wouldn't have left us. I uh We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, oh, and Grandma. Henry, I wasn't ready for this. And Mr. Rufus. Yikes. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and and <laughs> and I. Yeah, eating... figs. No, oh, mother. <laughs> oh, Jesus, she's gone full breakdown. I'm so sorry. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I'm way too blatant with the asking for the metal detector, I'm not going to get it, so I just need to endure this, I think. No, no. Don't cry. Maybe now's the time? I don't know. Now, now, don't cry. Uh, yeah. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? I got to stop crying. Uh, yes or no way? Should I, should I just come out with it and say yes? Maybe I should. Yes. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman <laughs> you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Well, she got rid of the metal detector. I just need to go and, 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 and fetch it, I suppose. Can we? Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, so we do actually get a, a good look at something down there. I don't know what that is. 
And we can't seem to examine it. It's not an area I've been to either. Uh, right. How do we get out of this? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. How do we get out of this? <laughs> Can you click off? No, you can't click off the screen as such. What the fuck? Okay, uh, that seems like a bit of a glitch. Uh, I actually used the arrow keys to get out of that screen. There didn't seem to be an arrow there. That was weird. Um, right. Uh, anything else to talk about? Even though I think you have just told me your life story. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector <laughs> around here, would you? <sighs> I guess that'll be a no. Um, right. Truth be told, I don't even know if we want to go up there. I think it was just the metal detector we were after. And I think that was the tool that the, uh, the mortician's Bye, after. Drop dead! <laughs> or the florist, I should say. Uh, right. Well, it was nearby. It was, it's down somewhere, so let's, let's head down, right? I want to say it's not exactly what it seems. Yeah. Ah, Lady Luck. <laughs> Tell me all the details about your new Kochek system. Yay! Okay. <laughs> I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing the boat leave was just a, a really good excuse, I guess. A lot of stains for a guy with no bodily fluids. <laughs> yeah, how the hell do you manage that? Maybe he just, uh, he spills a lot of drink and stuff. But how do they drink the skeletons? I <laughs> Enough questions. No? Just want to strangle her. I've tried that. <laughs> it doesn't stop her. So is it time. Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? Yeah, if you say so. You can see where his heart truly lies, and it's right there. <laughs> They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Never a big fan of prunes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Poor grandma.